This video is on risk types. Not all types of risks are the same. And this may differ from company to company. Risk can define things like identifiable assets that could be affected by an attack and how critical of an impact it can be. There are several types of risks that you should know as a security professional. First, we have external risks, which are risks over which a company has no control, where the only possible action is mitigation. Internal risk is one where the organization has the power within the firm to somewhat prevent the risk. External risk can occur from the external side of the organization, like a hacker group trying to get your company's data. Internal risk is presented inside your organization. It might be something like a outdated security patch. Legacy system risk involves running outdated operating systems. And the manufacturer no longer supports all the software that you might find in your network. There may be significant security concerns with the software that is running on those systems. As these systems become older and older, it becomes more difficult and complex to find security patches, even in the cloud environment. Multi-party risk involves more than one entity. It could be your organization and many other involved because your networks are interconnected. You could be using cloud or other third-party database, for example. Intellectual property theft risk occurs when organization has a lot of intellectual properties, like an idea, inventions, and creative expressions. Third parties or someone inside the company could gain access to the intellectual property because people may have made mistakes in how they set up permissions in the cloud, making that information available to the world. Software compliance and licensing risk is another risky area of concern. You should purchase a proper license according to your organization's requirements. The unneeded license in the organization creates some hurdles like operational risk with too few licenses and financial risk with budgeting and over allocated licenses. And there's also legal risk if proper licensing is not followed.